Welcome to another Daily Recap. It is Monday, September 9, 2024. It's about 7.54 a.m. Eastern. The market opens in an hour and a half or so. So levels are spread out today, and there's a zone between 536.62, 536.27, that kind of general neighborhood. Really nothing in between that and the next level up at 545.65. You'll notice uh, they're kind of in the middle of this. They've been climbing a little bit from where they closed on Friday, 543.83 or so. They could open somewhere else, of course, but I just don't really have anything I trust in the middle of that space. Um, there's nothing that I see that's conclusive of a pretty big decision or anything, whether they're going to bounce from Friday's close and climb up or they're going to go lower. It looks sort of like a consolidation, like they might end up going lower, but they're currently not going lower, so we will see. But these are the levels that I feel somewhat comfortable in putting out there to trade against in the e futures. But as usual, we'll come back to this chart after the market closes at some point, talk about any trades in the e-minis that were taken if the SPY hit these levels, and we'll talk about them then. Catch you on the other side. We're back. It's 9.42 p.m. Or it closed a while ago, and there was one level, should be pretty obvious, right here, one level that the spider spent some time around. And so playing by the rules, you actually would not have traded either time the spiders hit the level or any of the times, and here's why. Because there was a near miss. So this is 5.45.60. I'm just going to bring this down five pennies. This might move this up a little bit bigger so we can, there we go, 5.45.60. They came up within five pennies, I believe, five cents. So in this 10.07 candle, they got pretty close within 10 cents. So that's 5.45.55. And the very next candle, they pulled back for more than a base hit. And that generally is a sign that they're going to bust through this level. However, I felt pretty good about being on the short side. I took this trade. I just moved the level up. I was thinking even maybe two points or so, which is the equivalent of like, say, 545.80. I ended up selling at 545.70, waited it out, and and it fell down, and I actually trailed this a little bit. So we'll, we'll watch that in a minute. So really, that's playing by the rules. That's not a trade. It's unfortunate because this would have worked out if you had kind of knew what you were looking at. Um, I really kind of expected them to go lower today, and that was kind of all they did. But anyway, playing if you're strictly playing by the rules, then if you get a near miss, if you get up close within uh, 10 cents of a level or of the operating level, and it pulls back to give you a base hit really quickly, um, it generally decreases the chance that they're going to uh, respect that level. But they did in this case. They get below it. I'm not going to take another short trade, so that's out anyway. But when they come back down into it for a long trade, what do we have now? We have 545.70. We're going to add 5 cents to the operating level. And while this wasn't a near miss, they didn't get within 10 pennies here, 10 cents the low was 545.85. You know, pretty close. That's 14 cents. They took off. And that looks like the trade. But thing is, I would take this trade again, a long position, if they came back up into it later. I want more time to, to go by. It tends to work better that way. Don't ask me why. It just does. But they came back a lot sooner than I like to see. And it would have worked. So it was good to not take this trade. I took the trade here and jumped out around, I think it was 11 o'clock or so, a little bit after 11, and didn't mess around with the market the rest of the day. Wouldn't have taken this, but I'm just telling you how to treat these, playing by the rules. So unfortunately, if you were very strict about it, you would have left this alone. So it's kind of, it would be kind of frustrating, I guess. This level was respected a few times, but if you just treat it like a process, then you would have kind of missed out on taking trades. You know, I had reasons why I felt this would work. So at this point, before I start playing this, I had an order, uh, at 545.60, that's the operating level. And this was already the near miss scenario here. So they came up, pulled back, and I'm looking at this and thinking, well, I still feel like they can come down. You can just ignore this line here. I was kind of playing around with something to see if it was going to provide some type of support. They did, didn't trade it or anything. But this was the level from the morning, this 545.60. So I just moved this up. You can see me put an order in, and I decided to maybe move it up to 545.70. I considered 80, but I did 70. And then what happened? They shot. Through, I just waited it out. So you can see me, I'm short four. I'm going to take three off at a base hit. There's your four points right there. And the remaining contract, I was going to see how far I can trail it with a five point trailer. And you can just watch that happen right now. Actually, here's where they did find a little bit of resistance or support, a little bit, and then uh, got below it and kept falling. And I trailed this thing down to another 600 and something dollars. So it was over $1,200 with this four contract trade. So not too bad. Not, you know, huge, but I'll take it. And let this go for a little farther, uh, 11 o'clock or so. After 11, I uh, had other things to do. So I just kind of closed up shop and didn't really bother with this. And 
just as well. The next trades wouldn't have been something I probably would have taken anyway, strictly playing by the rules. And on the log, it looks like this. This is the playing by the rules log, no trades because of the near miss on both sides of it. And you can see what the averages and everything look like. And my trade was basically a net six and a quarter points with a four contract trade because it's got a base hit on three and then trailed the other one. So it was 12.75. So pretty much in this area. If you had these levels from the morning, don't know if you tried them or not. Kind of an interesting day, but not a bad way to start out the week. So we'll do this again tomorrow. Have new levels on the board and talk about maybe what I think the big picture looks like. I'm trying to refrain from doing that because really, at the end of the day, all I'm concerned with is taking base hit trades if I can get them at the levels, but it's helpful to know at a time what the prevailing trend is. So I do look at that every single day, but I don't want to belabor the point and talk about too much that I am not going to stand behind in terms of long-term predictions and where they're going in the long term. But anyway, so that's it. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate the support. Consider subscribing if you haven't and liking the video. Thank you. And I'll catch you tomorrow in tomorrow's recap video. Have a great rest of your day.